Welcome to day 12. Same as usual, review yesterday's lesson notes, review subnetting.org for 10 to 15 minutes. Today we're looking at OSPF. According to the syllabus, or part of the syllabus, single OSPF is listed, so we'll just be looking at that. Router ID for OSPF, passive interface, how to configure OSPF. And we cover troubleshooting network protocols in a later lesson and a lab configuring single area OSPF. So we'll just hop over to the book. Link state fundamentals, OSPF network types, configuring OSPF, the benefit of single areas, configuring um, OSPF. So this is the syllabus, router ID and passive interface, which I've mentioned. In the book, I'll cover a little bit of the history uh, of OSPF and the common RFCs, if you ever want to look at those. Link state fundamentals, then going into OSPF fundamentals, inter-area and intra-area. Looking at network types, you'll need to understand. I don't think you need to understand at a high, uh, at a sort of CCMP level, but CCNA, they just need to understand the different types. Configuring OSPF in uh, in Cisco IOS for the various network types. Some show commands. The router ID, which is important to understand. Passive interfaces. Again, some questions just to see if it's sunk in, and then a basic OSPF lab. So that's all for today.